What's going on everyone? It is Joe the Lawn Warrior. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my lawn. It is Easter Sunday, so let's get started. So as you can see here behind me, my lawn is looking really great. I didn't throw fertilizer down until April 3rd this year. As you can see, it looks really I mean, it's honestly looks the best it probably has ever, especially in the springtime. The lawn is full, it is thick. Uh, it just looks really great. Do I have a couple problem areas? Yes. Uh, I'll show you those here in a second because I do like showing the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, there are no filters on this video. This is what the lawn looks right now. It is about four o'clock in the afternoon here in Jersey on, again, Easter Sunday. Everything's looking really great. Let me bring you over here to the other side. And again, it is looking really great as well. It is thick, it is green. This color is just unbelievable. I'm gonna go into the fertilizer that I used on my lawn here in a second, but overall, you can see it looks really super, super great. I um, couldn't be happier. And then as we walk over to the side of my house, um, like I said, I do have problem areas and I'm not afraid to show them on camera. Uh, there are, There is definitely some POA in a lot of the yard. And honestly, I can't really do anything about that right now. Uh, could I kill it off? Yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it go until the next fall time and then address it then. But look at this side of this house. Look at this collar. I mean, like I said, I didn't throw fertilizer down until April 3rd. It is now April 17th, obviously. So it's been about 14 days since I threw down that first application. I did put down about 0.7, I think it was about three quarters pound of N in my yard and it just it's just feeding i mean it is just it's growing really good super thick uh i do have problems i'm going to show you over here with poa and it's probably due to what i was doing last year uh in the fall time hopefully it can come up in the camera but there are definitely some poa in a lot of this area right here but the, the grass is really thriving through those areas i put a lot of topsoil down in this section of my yard i was moving sprinklers around like a madman uh, at the end of the fall just trying to get them in the spots that i know i don't have to move them anymore so i just wanted to put them in those certain spots i had to bring in topsoil to level those areas off and probably got power from there i didn't use any tenacity or anything like that during seeding but overall everything is looking really great so this little area right here what i did was is my wife wants a little butterfly garden around our honeysuckle bush that we have right here so what i did was is i actually dug out strips of the sod i mean it's essentially that's what it is it's cutting out pieces of almost like sod uh, i'll show you a picture of what one looked like super thick chunks and what i did was is i took these chunks and i brought them over to various parts of my yard that were just bad right here along this strip right here it just for some reason i had clover here which i did spray uh, earlier a couple weeks ago uh, definitely took care of it the, the, there's no more clover in the yard which is great killed it off but there's just some sections right here that are just a lot of power so what i did was i took these big chunks and i put them here i'm just trying to keep them as watered as possible so hopefully they can survive if not again we'll just seed them in the fall time i did throw down a little bit of grass seed that i have left over trying to keep that water as much as possible it is still very cool here in jersey uh this next week coming up we're probably going to be seeing highs of like only in the 60s and some rain which is great the grass really loves that so hopefully i can keep this survived they are big chunks like i showed you so hopefully it will survive yeah i know that's a it will survive yeah that's a song yeah i didn't realize that when i was saying that <laughs> but anyway coming over here again super looking super good and like i said i have problem areas i'm not gonna lie especially right here i don't know if it's gonna show up on camera but you can see there's definitely some poa in this section right here and then over there as well it, it is what it is i can't do anything about it right now could i kill it off with a certain herbicide yes but at this point i'm just going to let it go it's going to die off once it gets warm then come the fall overseed we'll hit it hopefully with some pre-emergent with the grass seed 
fill in these areas. Uh, I, again, I was leveling different areas off in the yard with topsoil just to move my sprinklers around. And <laughs> this is my result right here. Nothing I can do, but overall, the grass looks really great overall. So what I threw down on April 3rd was this blend of fertilizer right here. It is a 18 to five and it is made by Plant Specialty. So what's really great about the analysis here, the 1825, is through my soil test, I'll throw it up here on the screen, I took one in the spring, uh, fall time and then I just did one in the springtime. I really don't need any phosphorus in my soil, so what's great is that 2%, really low, very minimal, that I'm going to be throwing out. Actually, I only will be throwing out granular right now in April and then actually I won't be throwing out any granular until the fall time because of the program that I'm going to be doing with them. This, their uh, third, fourth, and fifth rounds, or their th I should say their second, third, second, third, and fourth rounds are all liquid, and they actually have no phosphorus in their liquid, which is great. So going back to the 1825, I have it in my hand right here. I'll show it up to, on the screen here closer in a second. But again, I just really like this. It's a quick release and a slow release. It's gonna feed the soil. It's gonna feed the grass for a long time, which is great. You're putting down less product. That's what I really like about a simple fied pro uh, program. Again, it's only six rounds that I'm gonna be doing this year. The cost is gonna be way down just because I'm buying it local to me, which is great. Again, I try and harp on it as much as I can. I know you guys get tired of it, but you can honestly find good sources of fertilizer right in your area. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you have any questions or concerns on today's video Put them in the comment section below. I'll leave plant specialty linked below Go check them out. It's not an affiliate link. I bought all the fertilizer myself. There are no freebies this year uh, Mike Fabian who actually runs plant specialty is a really nice guy I got to meet them when I went to go get my product up and visiting him in Union, New Jersey Really nice guy Jersey guy through and through he really knows his stuff So if you have any questions on your lawn or or anything that you about his products go leave him a dm on instagram he'll get right back to you uh, again thank you mike for your products this year um, i'm so glad i was able to buy from somebody local and so far i am super happy if you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel again i do have an instagram and a tiktok i'll leave them linked below go check them out if you're in for a good laugh go check out my tiktok it is a lot of fun you will definitely you will definitely laugh out loud so go check it out and like always guys i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.